Welcome back. I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor of today's episode of North American Deer Talk, CNE Wildlife Products. CNE Wildlife is a trusted leader in biotechnology for the cervid industry. They offer micro encapsulated bacteria products that are research supported through Texas Tech University. With more than 30 years of experience and commitment to all natural probiotics, this product line continues to be a mainstay in herd management programs across North America. And the reason is simple. They are passionate about the cervid industry. They have products for elk, whitetail, muleys, red deer, and more. With products ranging from Fawn Paste and Electromax to Guardian Plus, Whitetail Energy Pack, Jumpstart, or their ever popular Top Score Extreme, they just flat out work. We've been a CNE Wildlife product user for more than 15 years. To learn more about CNE Wildlife, check out episode 54 of North American Deer Talk, a probiotics masterclass with CNE owner Sadie Horrocks, and give her a call today to start using the products we do here. Hey, it's the Deer Wizard, host of North American Deer Talk. I want to tell you about a great new advertising and research platform that we've developed for you, CWDbreeding.com. You know, as the deer industry continues to mature and develop around chronic waste and disease and its known genetic heritability, resources like CWDbreeding.com become essential tools for deer managers across the country making decisions about their herds. I really wanted a platform that excelled at hosting GBV and codon markers in a filterable and searchable manner, but I also wanted to have high quality pictures, videos, ages, scores, NADAR numbers, and a whole host of other information to go along with that. This database puts everything in one easy to find location and allows you to access the industry's greatest genetic resources. I look forward to seeing all the great bucks that people have to offer in one easy to find location, cwdbreeding.com. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of North American Deer Talk. This is episode 74. So we have some upgrades to our CWD information that I want to uh, bring to you. I'm going to tease a couple things out, and this is going to be a, a much quicker show than normal. Um, so I want to start by saying uh, thank you to everyone, as I usually do. If you're watching on YouTube, I'd love to see a, a like on a video. Um, and if you're not subscribed to the uh, to the YouTube channel, please do so. Um, it helps, you know, get the show out and um, kind of put it into the YouTube algorithm. If you're listening on the podcast, thank you. You can find us at Apple, Spotify, Google, wherever you listen to your podcasts, we are. Love to see a review if you like the show. Don't, don't leave me any bad reviews, please. Um, good reviews. Good reviews only. Give me a, give me a couple five stars there. Uh, but yeah, if you, uh, a little review would be, would be great. If you'd like to support the show, you can head over to Serpent Solutions, sign up for that membership program, 60 bucks for the year. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyway, so upgrades to our CWD information. Last week was the Nadifa conference. So if you're not familiar with the Nadifa, that is the National um, Association for Deer and Elk, aptly named the North American Deer and Elk Farmers Association. So they had their annual uh, convention. It was the 40th anniversary. And um, NADAR, which is the North American Deer Registry, uh, launched a, a new segment to their online platform. And it's called Genetic Profile. Now, I am going to have someone from NADAR on the show in the very near future. If you are over at Nadar and you are listening by chance, hey, contact me and uh, we'll make that happen. But I'm going to have one of the gals on or, or maybe Gary and we'll just uh, we'll, we'll run through some of this. So 
um, genetic profile is live. You're going to have to update your password for a, a quote unquote new section of the um, of the the Nadar platform to use. But what this is is you now have the ability to display uh, your GBV and uh, your codon values not only in the uh, Nadar online, but also on your your print forms or your pedigree forms. I got one over here. If you're watching on the video, I'm going to be just duck out here a second. Okay, so um, we all know what the pedigree charts look like, the Nadar pedigree charts. So those are all the same. All the information's there. Um, right underneath kind of where the uh, sire and dam are of the animal, it has a, a G, it says GBV, and then that number is displayed. And then it's got codon 37, 95, 96, 116, and 226. And it's going to display all those. Um, you, you can't, as best I can tell, and, and like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll get this out of Nadar's mouth. You can't segregate those two. So if you're listing the genetic profile of the animal, it's GBV and codon values, right? So it's both. Um, there is a single button, uh, and I forget what exactly it is. I think it's like add genetic profile or something like that. Um, and maybe when we're doing the interview, we can queue up. A, we'll just queue up my my records there, and we can look at them. Uh, but it selects all of them, uh, or you can just specifically pick animals that you'd like it to display. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's a, a, a nice new thing that I think many of us have been uh, waiting for. And when you're searching through your NADAR records or other other folks NADAR records, you can now see those uh, GBV and codons, right? So awesome. Um, that's pretty much it on the the genetic profile. I just wanted to throw that out. Started seeing some emails come through. I know if you're not like if you're on Facebook and you're not following the North American Deer Registry, go do that. Um, they they put out consistent information uh, about you know all this CWD stuff. Um, on to um, uh, CWD breeding. So I'm excited to announce that, um, and there, there is a uh, announcement video for this that's already been released, and, and hopefully you'll be seeing this coming from uh, Nadifa soon. But Nadifa members, and th this is through the Nadifa, um, through the Nadifa board, um, and and the association, y'all get. 50% off any listing over at CWD breeding. So when you go over there to list a buck, it's not $250 for you if you're an Adifa member. It's $125. So the promo code for that is able to be had from the Nadifa office, right? And I'll I'll I'm gonna let Nadifa put this out however they want to, but I just want to let you all know that. That discount is available. It's a 50% discount. It's significant. If you're sitting on the sidelines and you got some bucks there and you're just like, no, I didn't want to spend 250 bucks. Well, guess what? Nadifa secured a 50% discount. We're working on other state associations um, as well, but Nadifa, and I, I think it's worthwhile to be a, a Nadifa member. Nadifa has um, secured that discount. So again, if you're an Adifa member, um, head over there. So let me just go ahead and show you guys what we got here. So if you haven't been over to CWD Breeding, this is kind of the landing page. Um, intro video, we got um, both of Dr. Seabury's um, scientific papers. And then uh, the CWD series that I, I did with him over the course of about a year's time. Um, this this uh, first one, I think it's episode 38, um, was the, the launch, if you will, of this technology. And, and uh, we followed that up with, with two other shows. Uh, they are, they are in-depth. Um, most of it's pretty technical, way above my head, um, but 
Dr. Seabury, um, you know, continues to to share his knowledge of this uh, technology and how chronic wasting disease interacts uh, from a genomic standpoint. Uh, I've also started to, at least on the first show, uh, we went through and I tried to clip some of the segments out so they're a little more digestible so you don't have to sit through, um, you know, an hour and 45 minutes of of him and I, John, M mostly mostly him, right? Mostly him uh, telling us what's up, me just kind of listening and asking silly uh, silly questions, but, you know, he, he, um, he lays it all out there. Um, I will start working on the other ones as well. I'll do episode 43 and episode 49 and just kind of block those out uh, into the NADT clips. If you haven't checked those out, I've been trying to post those up on, on Facebook. There is a North American Deer Talk group uh, where I got to post every single thing there. So, you know, if you, however you like to follow uh, this kind of stuff, I try to have a whole bunch of different platforms because I know everybody consumes their media uh, differently. So anyway, so this is the, the landing page. You got a little link to uh, NADAR there so you can access that directly. And let's head over to the buck listings. So you can see my internet connection doing its thing. I live out here in rural PA. Um, takes a little bit for these these uh, buck listings to load up, but they will come along. So in the top here, we have the uh, search engine, search feature, right? And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick scroll down. You can see some of these, these listings that we have. We can load up some more animals. So. Those are some of the animals that we have. So when you look through here, so let's just look at this, this top row, right? So we got a GS, a GS, and an SS, right? Okay, so when you come up here, if you only wanna look at SS animals, you just type, and I, I apologize, my computer's not stable. So if you're watching, my computer's gonna bang around. So you just type SS and then search. This now displays only the SS animals, right? So let's go ahead. Now we got, uh, we got, what is it? Six, we got eight animals there on the screen. So let's go ahead and um, let's type a GBV in. So we're gonna do minus 0 0.20, zero. I'm just gonna type in some random numbers there. So we're gonna hit search. We're gonna see what, this does. So we put in minus 0 0.0204. So minus two, right? What this does is it is it filters out all the animals that are uh, more positive, greater than the minus two. So what's left in these search results is a minus two seven, a minus three seven, a minus three four, and a minus two nine. Right, so you can use that search function to segregate out your bucks instead of going through um, and, and looking at ones that you don't want to. So the search feature is there. You can search by deer name, ranch name, age, score, et cetera. Uh, if you have certain criteria, it will do that. And then we got a nice little clear filter button. So when you first come to the site, if you want to make a listing, you just go ahead and click the registration. It'll ask you for an email and a password. And then you can go ahead and you can create deer listing. It'll walk you through that process of um, all the information. Let's just hop in here over on one of mine. So this is end game. This is a buck that I co-own with 3S Whitetails. So it'll ask you for all this information over here on the right hand of the side of the screen, which is deer name, NADAR number, date of birth, uh, age of deer displayed, GBV code on score, and the same cost. So I want to highlight one thing. Uh, what we wanted to do is, as people have, um, as people have deer with multiple age classes, we wanted to be able to highlight pictures from each age class, all while providing that info. So when we first built this, 
we just had a date of birth in there. And, oh, there's some bucks that, you know, they're 15 years old, maybe, right? Well, it's not an accurate depiction of what's in the picture. So what we did, and Endgame is probably a bad, let's get, let's hop out of Endgame so I can show you, I can show you all exactly what I'm talking about. I just listed up Midnight Ranger and I put two separate ones in here. Okay, so we have, no. Sorry, bear with me. Bear with me, folks. This is live. We're doing this live. I'm scrolling through the listings. Let's see. Maybe I don't have any in here. Anyway, you can you can put. Actually, I know I do. Here we go. Here we go. Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Sudden luck. Like I said, this is live. I apologize for the uh, the delay. Okay, so we have um, L13 sudden luck, right? So you can see on the screen, we got a picture here, age of deer displayed, three. So when you click over to the next photo, it updates the age, right? So you can set the age for each picture taken. It's going to ask you that in the listing. So um, once you get all this info in, it'll ask you to fill in your pedigrees. And then it'll also ask you when you upload your picture, how old is the age of the deer displayed? Here's the two-year-old picture. You can see we got that there, right? So um, that was a nice little upgrade that we just added in. Um, you, you know, it's a it's a small thing, but I think it adds um, it adds a little bit of of kind of context to to the listings. Uh, we also added uh, descriptions for the deer so you can type in much like an auction book um you know you can type in a description of your lot you can type in a description of the deer so maybe you want to talk about how many animals that that particular buck has sired or whatever that is so um that's new we also have integrated uh credit card payments so previous uh we we what we did is you put a listing in and then we would send you an invoice and you'd send us a check and it was just this large time delay. So we integrated promo codes, um, which you can get through, again, through the Nadifa office if you're an Nadifa member. Uh, and we have more announcements coming soon on other associations that are gonna offer some promos. Um, but you got, the, uh, you got the credit card. So you can just pop in your credit card or if you use Cash App, there's a, there's a cash out pay option there. You just scan the QR code, boom, done. Um, so pretty slick on getting listings there. And so everything's here, right? So just while we're while we're here looking at at sudden luck, and, and thanks Jeremy for throwing this up. Um, you know we got a a, a negative uh, zero point one, a GS. He scored three twenty seven. We got the semen cost here. Uh, sudden express freeze frame. Kid Rock going back into Jennifer. All his info is here, um, you know, pretty, pretty nice buck. I would, uh, I would give Jeremy a call and say, Hey, you know, I want to draw semen. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Right. Um, so anyway, this is here to use, take advantage of that, that discount. I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna harp on this, uh, too, too much more, but it's, um, it's there for you to, it's there for you to use. Right. So let me uh, let me get out of here. There we go. I am back. I'm back on the big screen. So yeah, I thought those were um, I thought those were some cool things. You know, with the Nadar news and the, the uh, genetic profile section that adds that adds the stuff we've been looking for um, uh, to the to the site, right? And um, you know, with the, the promo codes and uh, the uh, credit card information over on CWD Breeding, uh, it just makes it super slick to to do uh, listings over there, and they're incredibly inexpensive now. Um, uh, the other the other thing that 
uh, I've been kicking around is doing a um, a print version of uh, CWD breeding. I'm not sure what that looks like yet. If you have any thoughts, I'd love to hear those. Shoot me a message, shoot me an email, give me a call. Um, do you think that would be something of value? And if you had a book uh, with, you know, specifically listed bucks for um, CWD breeding, would you buy it? Would you want it subsidized through advertisement? How would you want to receive that material? So anyway, like I said, it's going to be a short show. I just wanted to put it out like Nader, Nader launched this, this new genetic profile section. Go use it. Go check it out. Uh, like I said, we're going to try to have someone on, uh, whether that be, you know, Lindsay, Vanessa, whoever, um, and bring that, bring that news to you. And uh, also, you know, we, we'd be humbled if you put up a, a buck listing over at CWD Breeding. Make sure you get that Nadifa promo code. And if you're not a Nadifa member, if you sign up for a Nadifa, um, you end up saving more than that on just one listing. So kick that around. Hope everybody else is good. We're looking at spring coming. Everything's good on our end. I will be back to you with more shows here in the future. And with that, stay tuned for another episode of North American Deer Talk. <laughs>